Thanks, guys. Well, the Florida Black Expo is back, and it's the perfect Black History Month series of events designed for the entire family. Today, we have Mincy Pollock joining us again, and the expo, people know it, but this is two years back from COVID. Yes, yes. And even with the, as you guys have grown, You've grown a lot, so yeah. we'll get into that. But yeah. for people that don't know, tell them about the Florida Black Expo. The Florida Black Expo is back. This will be our 19th year having it. And like you said, it's been a story of resilience over the last four years. Of course, back in 17, it stopped for a while because of two hurricanes of Michael and Irma. Then we brought it back together, partnered with the trailblazer, Darren Thomas of Thomas Media Group, who started this whole thing a long time ago. We came back in 2020. And then we know what happened. <laughs> so this Shut is our down. second time since then. But you know, the interesting thing about the whole lesson in resiliency is it helps us to really be able to embrace what other small businesses are kind of going through. So we can say, we know what you're going through. We have something here so that you can empower and scale up. But we know what you've been through because we've been through it as, a, as an expo. See, that's what yeah, they're saying. Yeah, that's what he says, <laughs> that, that part. <laughs> so it's going down this weekend, and it's at a different location. Yes. Yeah, so so we're this year we're going to be at the TIA Bank Field for most of the activation. Expansion. 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 Um, our Thursday night kicks out with the top 20 under 40, and we're uh -huh. going to do that at the Ritz Theater. Mm -hmm. And then we go Friday to the TIA Bank Field for the taste of... Uh, of, of, of the Black Expo and chef competition. We had Kenny Lattimore, uh, Laron Hurst, an R&B violinist, and really some chefs that are going to be really competing. To, you know, you've been there. I, I was there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and then Saturday is the main event. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the reasons that we shifted to the stadium is because we really believe that the Florida Black Expo will become a destination event. We knew bringing it back would be challenging and kind of coming back and putting the pieces together. But we went and we listened to the participants, we listen to the exhibitors, the sponsors, what's important, what does this community need? There's a motto of something similar in, uh, that's in uh, New Orleans called the Essence Festival. I know Essence, yeah. Well, we believe that the Florida Black Expo is on its way to becoming a destination event just like the Essence Festival in our region. People coming from everywhere. And that's what that corridor is about in the whole sports entertainment district, and that's why we moved. So uh, I'm just making this wild leap. You remember Girls Trip? When did yeah, they yeah, go yeah, to yeah, Essence yeah. Festival? They went to Essence Festival. So they're rebooting the movie they're doing. Or, uh, I wish the they would come one. to the Florida I'm Black saying, Expo. Right? Yeah, so, that, that's uh, what we do. Tell them the tell cameras. Them, come, yeah, definitely come <laughs> to the Florida Black Expo. We'll shoot the film, definitely. <laughs> but it will be that kind of a blast. We are convert converting the East and West Stadium Club in the Touchdown area into like a six-story mall. Okay. We got two stadiums. Stages, four mini DJ stages. We got six incredible activations. One, which was the return of the Greek village, which mm -hmm. was gonna be really hot. So Greeks and you know, all the fraternities and all are coming out. We've got that going, being sponsored by uh, the two dope chicks. We've got a political hobnog and straw pole that's gonna take place. Okay. So we've got tons of candidates, including all the mayoral candidates and all that other good stuff. I know you wait, were... wait, so we also gotta talk about so people that are looking to maybe get CPR trained, oh, you guys are gonna be doing that. That's another activation. So one of our one of our pillars uh, of the Florida Black Expo is health. Mm -hmm. And you know, during the Damar Hamlin situation when you an NFL player who, you know, passed out right. cardiac arrest, everybody realized that what saved his life was CPR. Well then, we began to look into some studies in our, in our health counselor and realized that only 18% of African Americans or 8% of urban communities have the opportunity to have their lives saved because they don't know CPR. All right, so, so we're getting together and we're gonna help over 500 people get certified in CPR at the event, free, absolutely. All right, so it's going down. You, you wanna find out more information, go to floridablackexpo.com. We're going to have to do a deep dive later, but okay. in okay. the meantime, we'll have more River City Live right after this. All right, thanks.